I absolutely love renovating, redecorating and upcycling to bring joy to people's homes. But I think my next job could be my most important to date. A few weeks ago, I was contacted by Noah's Ark Children's Hospice asking me to transform a room they have into a wonderful space, a playroom for the children in their care. At Noah's Ark, we provide clinical and holistic care. It's enabling an environment where children can be children, so children can do all of the things that they want to do, that their peers are doing. At the moment, we have a blank canvas space, and we want to make it into a wonderland where a child walks in and that child can be themselves. They can feel free. They can escape from whatever's going on in their world. OK, so this is the room. It's very functional, quite clinical but I just want to make this into a really magical space where you can't help but have fun but I've got to do it by tomorrow afternoon so better get cracking even with my trusty team behind me it's going to be a challenge to finish this makeover in time there's a lot to do okay so the plan is to bring the outside in here so I want this to almost feel like an outdoor play area so colour-wise, we're going to have lots of sky, painting the ceiling, which is always quite controversial. Um, a bit of greenery as well. I'm seeing a sort of play tree house. Maybe some kind of magical faraway tree as well. While the team continue working on the room, I'm meeting some of the families who benefit from the wonderful work of the hospice, including Rocco, who could give Lewis Hamilton a run for his money. Rocco is five um, and he has a condition called spinal muscular atrophy. It affects all the muscles um, in the body, so breathing, eating and then muscular. So Rocco can't walk currently, but he has this super cool chair. And what do you use your chair for? Mm. <laughs> Outside in the playground, playing with the children. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's able for him to interact more, which is so lovely. Yeah. Montel is born with severe brain disorders, Hydrocephalus. His life expectancy was only three hours. Um, so he wasn't going to leave the hospital. And he's nine now. And he's nine now. Nine. Oliver is uh, it's an amazing little boy. He started nursery last year. And after three days, he fell sick. They did some blood tests. And it type of leukemia. Between us, we just kind of just... Kept it going. Kept it going. We thought, this is it now, yeah and we're just going to keep on going. How does it feel that you can move now, Rocco? No. It's good? Yeah. Meanwhile, we need to move it. What's the time, Ollie? Um, I don't know, because I haven't got a watch on. <laughs> can we try that again? Um, it's about quarter past two. OK. And, yeah, we've, we've got lots to do, haven't we? We certainly have, while making sure we fulfil the specific needs of a hospice playroom. I've gone for eggshell because infection control is massive. Um, in a hospice, we've got to make sure that they can clean it every day and so that's obviously very easy for them to wipe down. It's been one of the challenges actually, so although I've wanted to make it really magical, I've had to scale back quite a lot. But there will still be plenty to keep these special children entertained. So what difference will this extra playroom make to the hospice? To have a room they can go to, they can chill out, they can play, you know, with the specialist support carers. It would be so much fun, wouldn't it, Rocco? Yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine how excited you would be if something different. Just a, a safe place for children with additional needs and siblings that they could play together. It means everything because it keeps them together as a family. I say thank you, Rocco. Thank you so much. Pleasure. I so want the families to love this room, but behind closed doors, my design and schedule. <sighs> okay is about to fall apart. It's really quite hard to get up on the wall, isn't it? I have a cork tree here that's going to reach over the ceiling and this disability hoist is obviously massively important and I'm gonna have to cut the tree so that that can still work. So we have to work around that. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Whose idea was this? This tree is the centrepiece of the room and is very delicate. I'm starting to feel a little bit like I've bitten off more than I can chew. Oh, oh, no. Okay, okay, the, the branches are nowhere near where I'd hoped to be by this evening. And it has to be up tonight. Yeah. Oh. Or there won't be time to finish decorating it tomorrow. We've got to get it finished for the big reveal tomorrow because the last thing I can do is make these kids and their families hang around. So it's just going to be all hands on deck 
and we're just going to have to get it done. Suddenly, the mood in the room has changed from a holly jolly Christmas to a silent night where heavenly sleep or any sort of sleep is looking unlikely. I will cry, by the way, if it breaks. Wish us luck. We had to work late into the night last night, but I feel like we're in a good place now at least. There's still a lot to do, so I you know, don't want to get over comfortable. To assist with the design and add an artistic flair, I've invited local artists from Go Design to paint the leaves onto the walls and tree along with some animals and complete the theme of bringing the outdoors indoors. So nearly there now. Tree is coming on brilliantly. It's exactly how I visioned it. Um, I did want to put these fairy lights up on the ceiling though. This was my next job and I've got this disability hoist. Now it goes the full length and width of the room. And, ooh, watch your heads, guys. Um, so I just feel like these are going to become a problem for the hospice if I fix them up on the ceiling. So I'm abandoning that idea as much as I loved it. And instead, I've got a plan B, though. I've got these little sticker spots. They're reflective. At night time, they should glow in the dark. So I'm going to just swap them around the tree, and we'll just have that little bit of magic for the evening time as well. Having to change my lighting plan has also saved us a bit of time. And now the painting is finished and the floor has been laid, we can get the bigger furniture in and start adding the finishing touches. And we don't have much time left until the big reveal. I am doing a little fairy trail because every garden needs fairies. So I'm just dotting these little um, fairy doors around because it will invite the fairies to come in for the children. And that's it. We've done it and just in time too. I'm really pleased with how it's all turned out. It's transformed from a simple space into a lively and vibrant playroom for all ages. With sensory toys, multifunctional furniture, a fish tank, and most importantly, a perfect environment for the parents to bring their children. I just really hope they like it. It's very relaxing, isn't it? It is now, yeah. yeah really? now. now it is, now yeah, it is. yeah. It hasn't been. But you know what? It's Christmas time, so we just need to sprinkle a little bit more magic on the room. So there's one more thing to do. I couldn't help but add just a little bit of Christmas magic to the space. There we go. There's the final touch. I just really hope they like it. Well, it looks the part. And now it's time for those who matter most to have a first look at their new playroom. So far, so good. The children seem to be loving it. How do you think this is going to help you guys going forward? It's going to be another really nice tick in there. So we can plan, oh, you know, we're going to go back to Mozart. You know, the room with the little house. Yeah. And you can play and with the fish. Just gives us more strength to continue. Yeah. I think it's lovely. I love the nature-ness to it. There's like a little lovely nature field and it's really calming. I think this would be lovely in the summer as well. When the sun's shining, yeah. this would be like a lovely room. It's really, really nice. But the fun doesn't end there. Guys, thank you so much for coming to play in the playroom. I can see you're loving it, but we've got one more surprise for you. So can you put your toys down and come and follow me? I wonder who it could be. Hello there! <laughs> How exciting is this? <laughs> Another surprise. Do you like surprises? Yes! Would you like a surprise now? Yes! Okay, boo! <laughs> goodness that was just the most amazing reaction they all just ran in here they found the bits that they like the best and it's sort of all these elements I've been thinking about um, and it's all just come together and it's just massively fulfilling <laughs>